And that one is crushed. Left field is going off the monster. Cattell Marte needs to hurry to get this in. I mean, he couldn't throw that any slower. But Shet to home. The tag in time this time. And we, the, with the relay throw, are going to be able to get the lead runner out, Bobby Dahlbeck. It is a double for the Red Sox. They have another man in scoring position. But Cattell Marte, man, he was just moving slow off of that. But a great throw in from Marte to Bichette. And Bichette, a great throw to Danny Jansen, is able to get the out. For my family, gotta build a legacy. I'm gonna be the man when I'm dead. Work too hard, I can't slip up, so I'm clutching tight on this leg. What's going on, everybody? CW Entertainment back with another MLB The Show 22. We are back with our Toronto Blue Jays franchise coming off of the All Star game. And honestly, it probably had to be one of the more boring All Star games out there. I, it, it, it was walked off with a triple from the NL, but outside of that, I mean, it was really not much going on. We only used our players in that video so like, i didn't want to use like trout and the other guys that were on the team too so it is what it is but right now we have a 14 game lead over the surging new york yankees who have come out from the depths of the dang near the bottom of the barrel in our division and they are now eight games above 500 right now the hottest team in our division because they, they won nine of the last 10 and we won eight of our last two i mean eight of our last 10 not two but yeah um it's like, you know, this next video we are going to be getting into it is going to be against the Boston Red Sox. We have Nate Pearson on the mound, and now it looks like Nate is starting to struggle a little bit. He was doing well early, even when we played with him and caught him up, and then he was doing pretty solid, you know, even during the Sims. But it looks like, you know, teams are starting to catch up to him and seeing what he's got. ERA only at a, three, is at a 388, so it has ballooned a little bit, but not too bad. You know, for a guy that's just now really starting to get things going along in his career, it's not awful. But, uh, yeah, we're hoping, you know, he can come out here and give us a good one. Um, I don't know if you guys happen to see the score. I'm putting it up here on your screen. This game just happened in real life on, on the 22nd. And as I'm recording this, you guys won't see this until Monday. So, this is, for me, it just happened yesterday. I'm recording this on a Saturday. That game versus the Red Sox, holy hell. I don't know what got into the Toronto Blue Jays in that game, but, I mean, my goodness. All right, look at the score. They scored 28 runs. That is un. I, I, I haven't dominated a team that bad. I mean, that's more. That's better than a video game. I don't know we blew out somebody. I don't think it was that bad though. Yeah, yeah I think it was. Oh yeah, 19 to one to the Orioles. And um, we were literally playing football. But they legit went out there and played football against the Red Sox. So I mean, man, just just crazy, just absolutely crazy. But yeah, <laughs> what what a what a blowout performance. But. Yeah, that's all I really got to say about this one, guys. Let's hop into the... It's not really the second half of the season. We ain't really got... Half, we got more than... We got less than half the games left, but... Let's hop into the second half, and let's get to it. We're headed to Fenway, one of my favorite stadiums. Let's get it. Nate Pearson, Nick Pavetta. Let's go. All right, here is Nick Pavetta. ERA of 419. 6-5 on the year. Has seven no decisions. About a 3-1 to one walk... Uh, strikeout to walk ratio, so not too bad for him. But we'll be led up by our all-star Boba Shed leads the team in home runs and in RBIs with 22 and 65. Having a great year so far. See what Bichette can do as the first pitch from Pavetta is going to be a high, what should have been strike. But instead, it's ball one. We'll take it. And he'll walk in. Boy, I am not liking that. Those are two strikes. It should, it should be a 2-2 count at the moment. I am not liking the fact that he is calling these freaking strike or balls i do not like that for when i had to come out on the mound that is unacceptable right there from this umpire the 2-2 two -two pitch it's sent left field high left field looking up is the left fielder and that one is not coming back welcome back to the season vladimir guerrero jr brings home boba shet with a two-run bomb he ties the team in home runs at 22 and it's Bichette he ties vlad Let's get it, baby. You love to see it. Feeding off that all-star starting energy. Didn't do anything really in the all-star game, but that's okay. And let's get it, Vlad. Goes down and gets that one. Just absolutely unloads it. Uncorked it out there to the left field. I think he even hit up the light up there. Yeah, it definitely did. And that will now bring up George Springer. Unfortunately, did not make the all-star game, but that's okay as he'll take a first pitch strike. He's batting 290 in the first half of the season with 20 home runs and 48 RBIs. And an 0-2 to Springer. And that was hit right at the shortstop. Out in front on that slider. And that will be out number two here for Pavetta. 
And here's Nate Pearson, man. I mean, he's doing well. He's got a, over a five to one strikeout to walk ratio, so he's putting guys away. It just seems like he's starting to give up quite a bit of hits now. He's getting a, about over a, a hit an inning, or Walker hit an inning too. But hopefully, you know, he can come out here. We pitched well with him so far, so hopefully that continues. He'll go up against Trevor Story to lead off the bottom of the first for the Red Sox. A 3-1 pitch to Trevor Story now. And we're going to walk him. Well, just like the Red Sox in Pavetta, it's a leadoff walk. We got the first pitch over, and it's four straight balls. I, I can't call that one. I don't know why he was losing his own so much. That's for Dugo up to bat. The old one pitched to him. The throw, story is taking off. Oh, it's a bad throw, though, from Danny Jansen. Yeah, we didn't time that up the best. We even quick, or not quick, we slide-stepped him, too. And he's still able to beat it out. Trevor Story was getting the movement. Probably could have gone we had a better throw, though. We just didn't time it right. 0-2 oh, now to Verdugo, though. Can we put, punch him out here? It's going to be a hit back up the middle. We need Springer to get a good throw home to the plate. The throw is in time, but the tag is not. And it is a 2-1 ball game now. The Red Sox, just like that, cut the lead to one. They do it within a couple of batters at that. Oh, man, it was a hell of a throw from Springer. It was just offline and not a quick enough tag from Jansen. And Pearson looking for a strikeout here or a double play by the 0-2 is sent. Center field, back goes Springer to Devers. Give them the lead. Yes, he does. And just like that, the Red Sox have taken the lead in three batters. A slider missed, and Devers doesn't miss. And it is the Red Sox out in front now. Unbelievable. Pearson is tapped early. And not what we were looking for from what looked like was going to be a rising star in our pin. Well, not pin, but in our rotation. Unfortunately, he gets torched there, and he is not having a good month of July. Pearson needs it out extremely bad. Here goes Xander Bogarts, and that first pitch is well out of the zone. And boy, it, it, this is making for a short outing for Pearson. I mean, he has no control. But we're getting perfect releases, and he has no control. It's a grounder to Bichette to get Bogarts out, and the first out of the bottom of the first finally happens, but not before the Red Sox get three runs to take the lead. And that one smoked right field. Teoscar Hernandez is there, but it's out in front of him. And that will be another hit. And right now, they are tapping around Nate Pearson. And here is the newly acquired Boston Red Sox, Mitch Garver, making his debut for the Red Sox. Batting 287 on the year. So, definitely a big power bat that they brought in here. Let's we'll see what he can do, though. Hopefully, we can keep him at bay. We're still looking for that double play ball. 2 1 pitch here to Mitch Garver. It's going to get the ground that we were looking for. Four, six, three, double play right out of the first, but not before the Red Sox do take the lead thanks to a Rafael Devers two-run bomb. It, ex it gives them a 3-2 lead. Unreal, Nate Pearson. You got to figure it out later, man. Come on. The 1-1 one -one from Pavetta. And that one smoked. It's a perfect hit, but it's right at the left fielder, and that will be out number one. So got very unlucky right there is Teoscar Hernandez. 2-1 pitch here to Matt Chapman. And Chapman smokes one right to the second baseman. And that will do it here in our half for the second. We're headed to the bottom. You see Nate Pearson can bounce back like Pavetta did. Leading him off is Bobby Dahlbeck. He'll smoke one in between the gap of shortstop and third. And it is a leadoff single. Nate Pearson. I, yeah, man. I, I, yeah, I think we're going to be needing to look for another start at some point. <laughs> Pearson is, might be more suited for the pin now. It looks like that heater he came in on, they, they're seeing him easily. 0-2 pitch to Kike Hernandez. He'll get called looking. So Pearson gets the strikeout. Should have been ball number one. Boy, this, this umpire is just awful. We're getting the benefit of the doubt. But, man, he is terrible. And that one is crushed. Left field is going off the monster. Cattell Marte needs to hurry to get this in. I mean, he couldn't throw that any slower. But Shet to home. The tag in time this time. And we, the with the relay throw, are going to be able to get the lead runner out, Bobby Dahlbeck. It is a double for the Red Sox. They have another man in scoring position. But Cattell Marte, man, he was just moving slow off of that. But a great throw in from Marte to Bichette. And Bichette, a great throw to Danny Jansen, is able to get the out. And that is going to be a pop-up to Bo Bichette. Trevor Story is going to end the top pass, or the, excuse me, not top pass, but the second inning 
for the pop ups of the shit. We'll take it. Head to the third. It remains 3 2. An 0 2 pitch now to Marte. You'll send one out to center field. It'll be another 1 2 3 inning for us. Pavetta has bounced back after his shaky first inning. Oh boy, offense. We're going to have to figure it out because Pearson, I don't think he's in here going to be in here long. Up to bat is Alex Verdugo. Got on base last plate appearance. And he'll get on again. And this one is trouble in left center field. And we're not going to be able to stop that one with Springer. It will be a leadoff double for the Red Sox. Come on, Pearson. Find something, man. A full count pitch here to Devers. And he'll miss wildly. Pearson, you are you're 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 horrendous right now. You are horrendous. That is a weak grounder. This is what we oh we may have been able to mm, we may have been able to slap that tag to try and get a triple play there, but we'll take the double play that moves the runner up to third base. Now we need one more out to get out of this jam. And it is another base hit. It is a four to two ball game now. Thanks to JD Martin. Dude, Marte, man, you are so slow gathering the ball and throwing it. Come on, man. Damn. But Martinez extends that lead. It's four to two. Pearson, I am about done with you today, dude. And getting the strikeout to end the third. Mitch Garver goes down. The curveball gets him. But not before the Red Sox once again add on to their lead. It's a 4-2 ball game, headed to the fourth. Pearson, yeah, I'm about sick of you, dude. Well, we need our offense to get something going here. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. back up to bat. Had a two-run bomb in his last plate appearance. Let's see what he can do here, though, versus Pavetta. And we are down two runs coming into this fourth inning. 1-1. One, one. And Guerrero is going back over the monster. Pavetta, he not worried about you. And we are back down a run. Guerrero second of the day, and that will give him the team lead in home runs. He gets the solo shot. 452 off the bat for Guerrero. You love to see it, and we are not out of this. This is gonna, this game's probably going down to the wire. The last time we played these guys, they kind of did the exact same thing. So probably looking at probably the same thing right here. But Vladimir Guerrero, you love to see it, baby. Good job, big dog. You know what I'm talking about? I take no prisoners. I go hard doing this shit. Big dog, big nuts. When names is on the motherfucking board, I want to see my name at the top of that motherfucking next to it. It needs to say winner. Had a perfect hit in that last play appearance too. And Hernandez lines out to left field. Unfortunate. He'll go down to get that one smoked out to the gap of left center field. That one's going to clank off the monster. Teoscar rounds first and he'll be in there with a two out double. And we have the tie and run. On second base now. Let's see if we can find a way to bring him home as he gets his 16th double of the year. Good stuff, Tay Oscar. And that'll bring up Jonathan Scope. He'll look to see if he can bring home this tying run. And he'll hit a high fly ball to center field, but that's all that one is, is a high fly ball. And that will end our half of the four. We're headed to the bottom frame. It's a 3-4 ball game, but Guerrero's second home run of the day gets us back in it a little bit more. And a weak grounder to Guerrero up the first base line. Will he be able to slap the tag on him? Yes, he will. And that one in the fourth inning. Guerrero able to get him out. And a quick one, two, three inning is exactly what Nate Pearson needed, especially since we just pretty much was able to get back in this game a little bit more. But headed to the fifth, 4-3. And Jansen will smoke one to the left center field. That one's on the monster. Does it have the height? No, it just misses high off there oh you gotta be kidding me it looked like it just hit like the red line up there jansen just misses tying up the game but we'll take the double his 10th of the year i mean just a matter of a couple of inches oh man jansen just missed and pavetta struggling with the to try and find the strike zone it's going to be a 3-1 pitch to him does pavetta give him something let's see he does it's a high fastball Hit out there to left center field. Does it have the height to get out? No, it's off the wall, but we'll take it. It's back-to-back -back doubles, and we are tied here in the top of the fifth inning. Bo Bichette, 28th double of the year. Another RBI, number 66 for him in Bichette. Coming up clutch for us. He just misses getting it over that monster, though, but we'll take it. We'll take it. That brings up Cattell Marte, who's 0 for 2 on the day.
And Marte is not over any longer. That one's into left center field as well. And that will be another double. We take the lead. It's five to four in the top of the fifth with Guerrero coming up to bat. Will they leave Pavetta in to face Guerrero for a third time? I imagine they do not. But Marte comes up clutch, getting another run for us, and we take the lead. And that will do it. They will not have him face off against Pavetta. But they'll bring in the old lefty, Rich Hill, will come on the mound. He's 7-5 on the year. And we'll see what he can do versus a guy who already has two home runs in this game. And Vlad to left field. Back goes the left fielder. He slides, can't make the play. It'll bring home another run, and we extend our lead 6-4. to four. Another double. What was that? Three, four doubles in a row. Let's go, boys. Great stuff. Great stuff. And, well, after that foul off pitch, looks like Rich Hill will be gone. Examine his labor. Ooh, boy. That, mm, that could be brutal for the Red Sox, but they're bringing Matt Strom will come in relief for the relief pitcher. And we'll see what Springer does for Strom. He's in an 0-2 hole, unfortunately, coming into this. And the 2-2 pitch here from Matt Strom. Looking to see if he can put away Guerrero. Or not Guerrero, excuse me, George Springer. It's a pop-up, though. And that will be out number two. All right, Pearson looking for the strikeout here. The 0-2 on Trevor Story. It's hit out to right field. Story able to go oppo. And it's going to be a ground rule double for them. And honestly, that may have been the best thing for us, because that easily could have been a triple for store. And that one hit to right field. Tay Oscar needing to get out there in time. He will. Story will tag up and go to third base. We're not even going to attempt to try and make a throw over there. And they have the tie run back up to the plate again and a man in scoring position. It'll be Bogarts who we've handled so far, but hopefully we can keep that the case. And it's a weak grounder. We will keep it the case. Matt Chapman is there. Fires to Guerrero. And that'll end the fifth. So after the leadoff double, Pearson does a good job bouncing back, getting three outs in a row. We'll take it. It remains a 6-4 game, headed to the six. And that one's grooved. Left field. Back goes the left fielder. He's looking up. Doesn't have the distance. Oh, it clanks high off the wall. Second time we've had one hit high off there. That one misses by maybe, Jason was maybe a little bit closer, but Hernandez just misses. That was by maybe a foot or two. And a uh, high fly ball off the monster yet again. But we'll take the lead off double. And he'll send one. Left field. Back goes the left fielder. He's looking up. I don't think that one's coming back. It's not. It has the distance. It's an 8 4 Blue J lead. Let's go, baby. The, the Red Sox, I think we found, I think we kind of know what most of their weaknesses is. It's their pitching staff. Bullpen and maybe even the starting rotation. May not be as bad in the starting rotation, but. Bullpen definitely seems to be their weak side. But let's go, baby. It's an 8 4 ball game now. Great stuff, boys. Great stuff. It's Matt Chapman comes up to bat next. The day from Nate Pearson is over. We're bringing Trevor Rosenthal. Hopefully, he can have a better outing. He hasn't done too hot for us so far, but hopefully, he'll come in and have no issues here. First JD Martinez, who's 2 for 2 on the day. So we struggled to get him out. And he'll take the first pitch strike. And we're trying to find a way to get the punch out here on J.D. Martinez. Can we get it? The 0-2. He's going to weakly ground it to Jonathan Scope. We'll take that for the first out here in the bottom of the six. Another 0-2 pitch here to Garver. Can we put him away again? The 0-2 pitch. He'll go down. See you later. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Garver. And he'll go down. So his Red Sox debut was not going off to plan. And another 2-2 pitch here to Dahlbeck. He'll go down, see you later. Back-to-back K's -back ends the sixth inning. The changeup below the knees, and Rosenthal comes in and gives us a pretty dominant inning. We'll take it. Head to the seventh. I'll bring up Jonathan Scope. He had a big two-run blast in his last plate appearance. One for three on the day. We'll see what he can do in his fourth plate appearance. He'll send one out to center field, but that was right at the center fielder. It's a quick one, two, three. Oh, not one, two, three inning because Spring got on board. But after the little single from Springer, he's able to bounce back. And that's a quick seventh inning for us. He'll go down another strikeout. That's three in a row for Rosenthal. He has come in here and absolutely dealt versus these Red Sox batters. Looking for a strikeout here is Trevor Rosenthal. Another one. Can he get four in a row? The one, two. He's going to blow it by him. Crank it up at 100. Rosenthal, boy, he is feeling good today. He's coming in throwing some heat and just punching these guys out left and right. That is four strikeouts in a row. 
And oh, it's an excuse me swing from Trevor Story. Rosenthal will flip it to Guerrero to end the seventh inning. We'll take that all day, every day. Another one, two, three inning. Rosenthal gives us two perfect innings. Couldn't ask for more out of that. We're here to the eighth. He'll smoke one. Deep center field. Back goes the center fielder. He's at the wall. They're looking up. The fans are reaching forward. It is a 10 4 Blue Jays leave Boston. You can't hang with us, baby. You can't hang. Cattell Marte's 18th of the year. We're going to have so many guys in the season with 20 home runs or more. You love to see it, but we just got power all over the place. Cattell Marte has been a fantastic pickup for us during that trade. I mean, you could. Gonna ask for more so far to Marte, but boy, when he bats from that right side, you best believe he's time to watch out as he's got a very good chance of going yard as he does just there. But look at that over there. He's got a 98 power when he bats from the right side versus lefties. And another base hit of the day. Great stuff, baby. Great stuff, Guerrero. Just, just love to see it. The big guys that we have on this team that are supposed to perform are performing. And Richards looking for that punch out the 2-2 again. It's going to be a grounder. Scope has it. Able to barehand it. The jump throw to Guerrero in time for the out. And two more guys get here in the bottom of the A. And a 1-2 to Bogart here. And oh, Bogart's check swing. I don't know what that was about. They said he went around. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. They caught. That is a check swing that should have been a ball. His bat barely came off his shoulders. Oh, my goodness. Wow. We're headed to the ninth, though. And Garver on lows. He's not staying over any longer. It's a 10-5 game. And honestly, I'm not really sure where that circle change missed. He goes deep for his 14th of the year. And, yeah, it, that, mm, it didn't look like we had a bad release on that one. That angle, yeah, well, he, just turned, he just turned it around. And now looking for the punch-out pitch. It's Jimmy Garcia. The 0 oh, 2 to, Gar uh, to Hernandez is a weak grounder. Bichette is there, and that'll do it here in Boston. 10 5 is your final as we take care of the Red Sox yet again. It was a pretty entertaining game until, you know, we just opened up the floodgates, boy. It just seems like <laughs> we consistently do that. But another win on the books for the boys, and I think we all know who the player of the game is going to be at the end of the day of this one with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. But we get 15 hits on the day. They have nine, and I believe seven of those were because of Nate Pearson, but it is another win for Pearson, and Pavetta has handed another loss. And as expected, Vlad, who went four for five today with a couple home runs and a double, will get the play of the game. Good job, Vladimir Guerrero. You really helped gel us and got us going early with the two-run bomb, so you love to see that. And Vlad continues to lead the squad as he now leads the team in home runs. Man. That is going to do it for us here in this one. Next time out, we'll have our ace, Kevin Gosselin, on the mound. It looks like we'll be playing against the Detroit Tigers next time out. Honestly, I didn't think we were going to get the five games um, in this month just because of the All-Star, but I guess it wasn't a big enough break to not uh, allow that. I thought it was only going to be maybe four videos here in this one. I don't, I don't know. We might skip this one. The Detroit Tigers aren't that good. We might skip I mean, some. Even the twin. We may sim a little bit more just to just kind of get things rolling a little bit. I'll, I'll figure that out here at some point, but... We got a 15-game lead over the New York Yankees. A 16 went over the Red Sox now. And we're looking great on the year so far for this. No, we're looking great for the AL East division for sure. And the number one seed more than likely. But you guys, I do want to say thank you all very much for watching the video. If y'all enjoyed it, make sure you guys hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the video. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with this Toronto Blue Jays franchise and more that we'll be posting here on the channel. I have an F122 My Team Career Series going on as well. If you guys haven't missed any of those videos, the playlist link is in the description. Also, the playlist link for this Toronto Blue Jays franchise is in the description if you missed any of these videos so far. I'm out to next time, everybody. Once again, thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. God bless and peace. Close it out, future. And it's the love from my fans got me still here.